from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. The Peter and I got story not going away. Former PLP leader and former Prime Minister Christie going international about his party's connection to the former life of key resident over the years, telling Canadian television that the PLP has nothing to hide in connection with him. Christie told CBC Television that he has no fear of any investigation into his conduct in his more than 40 years in public life. He described Nygaard as a significant personality in the Bahamas and a contributor to those in need. National Security Minister Dame says all local claims made against Nygaard will be examined. Police involved in another fatal shooting incident. According to their report, they were breaking up a gathering in the Bethel Avenue area here in the capital that may have been a violation of the COVID-19 rules. One car leaving the area failed to stop and tried to run over officers who pulled their weapons and shot him. The man was taken to hospital and later died. The matter has been turned over to the coroner for investigation. The name of the man not released as yet. 24 more confirmed coronavirus cases reported on Saturday. The highest single-day total in a while, 13 of them in the capital. One more death has been reported. A 94-year-old New Providence woman, 176 total deaths now. The hospital numbers stay low, 11 persons in, none in the ICU. Still more than 1,000 active cases for health officials to monitor. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. The government continues to work on getting a vaccine in place. Nothing final as yet, but Health Minister Wells says they are preparing to educate the public on what to expect. We do have a PR campaign that the ministry will be engaging in in the coming weeks to be able to educate the Bahamian people on the vaccines and the ministry's position as to how we're going to deploy the vaccine throughout the country to give the Bahamian people a greater understanding. The PLP Candidates Committee recommends its first 16 candidates for the next general elections. Among the notables, Vaughn Miller gets the nomination after coming over from the FNM. Some former MPs on that list, Alfred Sayers, Fred Mitchell, Michael Halkidis, and Keith Bell. No Leslie Miller at this point. All incumbents have been recommended for nomination by the committee. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update. A service of insurance management, a frontal system is moving through the area. There is associated weather. Partly sunny today, turning windy, some rain, highs from the mid-70s to low 80s. 75 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 82 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Winds and seas increasing behind that front. The next tide is a high around 10 this morning, next low about 5 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, windy lows from the upper 50s to mid-70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. Insurance Management wishes everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people paper biggest and best monday's world news headlines weather issues in the u.s a major winter storm crossing the country now dumping heavy snow across the northeast there are travel issues for millions in the big eastern cities of new york philadelphia and washington the storm expected to be around through tomorrow more demonstrations in russia over the weekend calling for the release of president putin critic navalny more than five thousand persons have been taken into custody including navalny's wife the military has taken control of the government in Myanmar, claiming fraud in last November's elections. The country's president has been detained by the military. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week. Shell 409, that's up 18 cents. SO 402, rubles $4, one cent per gallon here in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Both Buddy Heel and DeAndre Ayton and NBA action over the weekend. Tribune Sports reporting on Heel's Florida Swing. Read about it and the rest of the NBA action over the weekend. There's an update on LaShawn Higgs, who is playing basketball in Europe. Shawnee miller Uwebo with another national record. COVID not slowing her down. And the countdown on now to the Super Bowl. It's coming up on Sunday in Tampa. For all of your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.